Doing your taxes can mean a lot more than just a refund. It can give the chance for people to give back in our community and not only that, but do it in a really big way. That's right. And Kimberly Kirshner, Executive Director of the Institute for Better Education. She's here to explain. It's nice to have you back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. So give us a, just a rundown of what the Institute for Better Education is for those who may not be familiar. Absolutely. We're a nonprofit organization that's been certified by the state of Arizona to take tax credit donations and we in turn scholarship children to attend the school that is best fits their needs. So how do we, you know, use our refund to help out IBE? And it's not even a refund. It is basically your liability. So not to get too CPA-ish mm -hmm. on you, but mm -hmm. line 48 of your Arizona Form 140 this year shows every Arizona taxpayer what their tax liability is. That's the magic number when it comes to giving a tax credit donation. You can do tax credits all the way up to that number. And if you were already receiving a refund, it'll increase your refund by that amount. Or if you were going to have to pay taxes, it will reduce what you have to pay. Such a, know. Yeah, such a simple option there. And it, it makes is. such a big difference in the life of these kids and, and yes. these school kids. So when you mention the school that's right for them, what does yes. that mean really for people watching? Well, if you think about children, who knows our children best but their parents, their families. And when it comes to choosing the right education for your child, we want to make sure parents have that option. Whatever that is, public school, private school, charter school, home school, it doesn't matter. If it is the best choice for a child, they need to be there because let's face it, it's better for our community, it's better for our state if children are educated in the best way possible. If they happen, the parents happen to choose a private school, whether it's because a child has, let's say, special needs, mm -hmm. or let's say it's a child that um, has a certain learning style mm -hmm. or a, a way to learn that's going to be best for them, yes. let's make sure parents have that option and we help pay for it through tax credits. Yeah, because everything can seem cookie cutter in certain classrooms. So we really sure. do need to give them the opportunity, the best chance possible exactly. when they're at school. Let's talk about Arizona businesses. Are they able to receive dollar for dollar tax credits? Exactly, not only, not just Arizona residents who just, just to give you a little insight, they have till April 15th to make their 2019 tax credit donation. Arizona businesses, the opportunity is going on right now to get us their information as to how much they would like to give. So whether you're a C corporation, S corporation, even LLCs and insurance companies are able to receive the same dollar for dollar tax credit with no limit on what they can give. They can help children at specific private schools here in Arizona. Let's say a a particular business says, I want to make sure all children with autism have this opportunity because those schools tend to be more expensive. They can do their tax credit donations. They get us the information by July 1st. That's when we turn everything in and we start the ball rolling and making sure kids are helped. Yeah, and IBE has been around for a long time, right? And that's really one of the things that separates it from other uh, STOs, which means school tuition organizations. Exactly. This whole program has been around for over 23 years and we've been around since the beginning, making sure Arizona children have that kind of opportunity and chance for their future. That's what people look for. You know, they yes. just want to know that it's trusted. Sometimes yes. we go to websites and do the research, but they don't have to. They exactly. can take it from you. So what sets it apart from other STOs? Basically, a couple of things. First of all, we're here in Tucson, which is really nice. We're just up at Speedway and Swan, so people can come see us, being around as long as we have. The law allows STOs, or school tuition organizations, to maintain or to keep 10% of all donations. Because even though we're a nonprofit, we have a business to run, we pay credit card fees, we do all those kinds of things for our donors, we only keep 8%. So we keep less than everybody else, just to make sure more money is going to help children in here in Arizona. And the bottom line is, we'll answer our phone. You give us a call, we'll answer it. <laughs> person, a <laughs> living person will answer that call to make sure you understand this program, whether it's from a donor's perspective, the school that would like to know more about us, or a family that would like to make sure their child has this mm -hmm. chance. Yeah, and I mean, we're, you know, we can get mired in the details and, and really learn how to donate, which is important, but the end result is really what, what makes us feel the, the best, right? This is why sure. we do it, is what these families get. So what have you heard from families, from students that have benefited from this program? Well, we've made a difference in their child's life in a very tangible way. This the families again know what is best for their child and when they see their child coming home from school loving the education that they're getting wanting to do more participate more learn more well that just is going to go on and on whether they're in middle school or high school going on to college even if they've had the education that gives them a love of learning 
Why would we want to support that? And Arizona taxpayers have that opportunity to do just that. At the end of the day, they're all our children, right? They are our children. Mm -hmm. They're part of our community. They're part of our state. We need to do what's best for them and focus on the children. That's it. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And to learn more about making a dollar for dollar tax credit contribution, you can call 520-512-5438 or you can visit ibescholarships.org.